What's up guys? I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you an update on the 86 box Chevy. <coughs> Had it painted last year. Um now we're back to doing the well we've been working on the interior, me and my wife. We've been hitting the junkyards for pieces we needed. The dashboard was cracked. We went and get, we went ahead and got that. Um, we had some Roadmaster seats in there. Now we have some pillow top seats in there. They're both powered. I took out the motor from the. Uh, let me show y'all real quick. Not too far. See, this one was previously on the car. It came out like when we bought the car. It had them on there, but I took out the motors. And I put them on the pillow top seats. We also replaced this dash. Reason why we replaced it was because, well, mainly this one was broken. She's real picky. Well, now, uh, it's my wife's car, but it's basically like our car, but it's her car. Mine's a 92 Chevy, hers is an 86, but she, like, this bothered her a lot. That part, that part was missing. The, the glove box, I had this latch on here. She didn't like that. I couldn't repair it because uh, so I guess somebody broke this before us. And it's just been sitting on her. And it's been raining. Um, so we got the scissors replaced, the dash. Uh, now I'll go over here and show you the inside. No, it is a Broham. It was a full top in the beginning, but um. I did my research and um, went ahead and got the LS top, the quarter, the quarter top, as y'all call it. And uh, I had my boy from uh, Waco come install it. Shout out to Capri Lee on Facebook, and um, he did an amazing job. He put those buttons on him. Since I didn't have the bracket, he's actually hold the top down. They're not screws, they're buttons. And um let me show you. These are the seats. Pillow top LS seats. Both of them are powered. As y'all can see is on the side. Pretty nice. Um we're gonna go with the um, I can't tell y'all yet, but it's gonna have a mixture of some red. Well y'all can see already right here. But, um, basically, okay, I'm going to tell you. It's going to be red carpet. These ones are going to be that color, that camo scent color. Door panels are going to be the camo color right here. And some red suede where the carpet is right now. Some red seat belts, suede on the headliner. It's going to be look nice. Um, we're gonna get that done here in the next month or so. And um, that's just uh, the work we've been doing on the box. I was thinking about going, uh, what do you call it, Intelectronics Digital Gauge. But I was looking at it last night on YouTube videos and uh, it seems like a lot of people complain about the circuit board. And how the circuit board, uh, I guess you got to tint the... Uh, the plexiglass or it comes with a tinted plexiglass that I didn't like that but I also don't like the Dakota Digitals because there's nothing digital about the Dakota Digital it's just needles and stuff so I didn't I don't like the Dakota I'm gonna, I'm gonna still take a look at the Intel Electronics because my home my boy uh, installed one on his Caprice but I didn't actually pay attention about the whole look i just seen it was digital and i like that part i didn't know about the circuit board and the tinted um glass and all that but i don't know we'll figure it out it's not a big thing it's not a big deal but um that's as far as the interior goes oh i forgot to show you that back back is pretty comfy man this pillow top's really like this make, makes you want to go ahead and take a, a nap in there but like I was saying, uh, this this is my wife's car. Um, I have a 92 
Chevy. She has an 86 Chevy. We just got it painted uh, last year, but it was like, we got it back in like in June. I remember the date exactly because I was I was actually rushing my painter to get to this. Uh, we have this show over here in Texas. It's called Texas Whip Fest. Uh, it's thrown every year by my boy uh, Carlos Mendoza. His Instagram is box underscore los. It should be popping up on the video right now. Y'all go ahead and follow him. Uh, we had went to the show in 2000, I'm going to say 18. We had the box already, but it was, uh, it wasn't painted. It was, we had just had the, actually I got the wheels from him. Shout out to Carlos. Um, and we basically fell in love with how the, the boxes looked out there. We, I think it was a two out of town boxes. It was a red one and a gray one. And they were both LS boxes. And um, my wife, she just fell in love with the whole LS box look. Uh, we bought this one. We already had this one. But, I um, mean, she wanted to go the LS top. And I didn't, you know, I didn't really care. I want to make my wife happy, as you as y'all know. Uh, happy wife. Happy wife. Happy life. Hold on. My camera is messing up. Let's see. Sorry, guys. was saying um happy wife happy life we're both currently uh, members of swift texas as y'all can see swift up and um she's on 26s um man what is wrong with this camera okay there we go she's on 26 inch floaters Now, when I had it painted, I had a guy from Austin come do the leafing. His name is Pablo. Can't say his last name. Uh, but basically, his name is Pablo. Pretty well known in the um, Texas area for doing leafing. He came out here and did the go leafing on the car. Amazing job again. Shout out to Pablo. He also put it on the faces. Pretty cool effect. Um, yeah, man. Paint jobs fire every time I take it out. Or we, t or we take it out because we both drive each other's cars. Uh, like I, like the title says on the Caprice family. For Caprice family. And um, we just love Caprices, man. And um, well, actually, I've been having mine since I was 17. She was always one in a box, and I went ahead and we got it. Uh, we haven't had that car for long. We have, We only had it for like... And so it's like two years two years and something months so we done amazing amazing process as soon as i got the car did a whole suspension upgrade and everything man before i took it to the paint shop so the cars ate one now we have made a bet that we're gonna uh she thinks she can beat me in a race now we're not we don't we're not souped up like y'all ls boys we don't have a 6.0 or nothing she has a stock 350 in the car. I got a stock 305 in my bubble. So I'm on 30s. She's on 6s. Mine's a fuel injection. Hers is a carburetor. So we're going to go to Whiffers this year. And we're going to race. We're going to put it on the track. Just for fun, you know. We're not trying to impress no one. Just so. So y'all go in the comments. Y'all tell me who you who y'all think is going to win. I'm on 30s. She's on 6s. 350, 305. Let me know who y'all think is gonna win. Um, I think I did a video went viral on Facebook of me burning out. I actually, I burnt out right here. This my, this is my Tahoe right here. See, and every time it rains, so for some reason it leaves a puddle of water right there. It's been raining a lot. So when I made the video, it was raining, but um, people were saying, "Oh, he threw some water on there." Nah, like the car could like really like burn out with no water. It was just water sitting there from previous rain. But whatever. 
people are always gonna talk mess. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, we're still waiting on the. We're gonna get the, the whole uh, the pieces that go on here. Would you call it the? We're gonna put the impact strips back on there. And um, we're gonna get all this. Well, I don't know yet, but for sure we're gonna get all this uh, polished chrome um, things. Gold, cause the bumpers are gold. I haven't shown you out the front yet, huh? We have the Euro. Now it is the '86. But let me explain to you why we went Euro. See, back when we got the car, we, when we were trying to get it painted, one of the vessels was cracked. And if y'all if really know stuff about boxes, the 86 was the year that the box made the transition from the 85 look to the Euro look. So the 86 is like the, the rarest year in the box. So for that reason, they don't sell the the light vessels. So, and then back then nobody had a, a eighty six front clip. So, one of my boys from here, I live in Arlington, Texas. One of my boys from here had the front and the back clips. The Euro. Shout out to my boy, uh, Cheese. Um, I bought the front and the back clip from him. And um. Hey, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with a Euro clip. But I was real bummed out about the uh, having to replace the '86 because I love that uh, front emblem, the nose emblem that it has. Kind of gives it that donk box look that I, I personally like that donk look. I hit it with the Tierra, and I'll make a video about that. It's a triple weave third generation LED logo. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Um. Yep, from Mumper's Gold too. So that's another project we got in hand. Making all the chrome gold. I know there's another red box Chevy out there. Um, people have been saying that this one looks just like it. But that one, that one has the, uh, I don't know where state it's from, but um, I've, I've been seeing it on, on YouTube and on Facebook. It's pretty nice. I think it's on 30s. Now I didn't want to go that big on this car because um I didn't want to cut nothing and I was on the bubble I did have to cut a lot. And I didn't want to cut that much on this one. Plus six is you know not too big, not too not too small. Rides good. Um So the last video I made, um we talked about how to basically reinforce your hubs. Well, not reinforce your hubs, but reinforce your faces. Because the original floaters, they come with these um, screws. It's like real little. And um, some guy actually went on the video and commented that he used Threadlocker on these and his faces still, came, still kept um, flying off. So my method, I guess, uh, worked really good. Basically, on each hole, I made the... Um, the hole more deeper so that way I could put up uh, some longer screws so ever since I made that video and I re-threaded all my holes um faces on here been staying on pretty good man I mean, have no issues I've had nothing they're running smooth so yeah man um if you, if you want to go see how I did that um just Make sure you go to my channel. I think it was the last, yeah, it was the last video before this one. And, um, yeah, I stay in the hood, so yeah, people be basing around here. <laughs> um, let me see what else. So, yeah, man, that's basically, I wish I had a video, uh, how the box looked before. Because my, my payment went in. I'm telling y'all, this box was a piece of trash. I don't know, what, but my wife seen potential in the car. Um, it was a piece of shit box. 
But uh, my paint man, man, he got the body work done. Straight as hell. I don't know if you can see, but there's no dings, there's no dents on this bitch. This is straight as you can get it. And this box was pretty beat up. So shout out to my paint man, Texas Dawn. My kids love playing with the faces. So yeah, man, uh, I'll be back with another video. Uh, probably, yeah, sometime around in the next three days. I'll make a video of both uh, the bubble and the box and the, and the sunlight. Because I know right now it's pretty getting pretty late. So you can't really see much. But, um... Yeah, man. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And comment. Peace.